In this video, we'll be building an image classifier using GPT-4 version API. But prior to this, if you wanted to build an image classifier, you need to have one, a lot of training data, two, some knowledge about how convolutional neural network works. And if you don't have a lot of data, you need to know how transfer learning works. Well, all of that is not required if you have this API. You can just prompt it and get a classifier running in a few lines of code that we'll see. So first, we'll install the libraries, the required libraries. Uh, Second, we'll load the OpenAI API key. Uh, you need to have this to call the Vision API because uh, the free tier only supports, I think, GPT 3.5. Uh, the data is small, but the entire data is available at this link. This link will be in the description. And uh, I've already gone through how the Vision API works. If you want to know about it, uh, click on the link on the side panel here, I mean, somewhere around here. All right, so I have some data about chihuahuas and some data about muffins. So let's see a few of those images. So this is uh, for chihuahua. And let's see a couple of more. Uh, and uh, I also have some data for muffins. Now, I mean, I read some articles that, uh, you know, chihuahuas and muffins look similar to image classifier models. I don't see the difference so much, but uh, let's see if GPD also feels the same way. Uh, and if you have the classifier ready, it has to distinguish between uh, so the classifier problem ready, which has to distinguish between chihuahuas and muffins. I have the classifier function already ready. This is just the API call uh, with the header, the payload. The payload says you have a classifier that can distinguish between images of chihuahua and muffins, and then only the class name. And the uh, user prompt is given the image, written the image class. All right. Uh, I can even reduce this to written the class, but it's all right. And then we pass in the image. So, uh, let me, yeah. So since this takes a little bit of time, and so I've already ran this. So I've already ran. So this is the true class and print class. And for each image in my set for chihuahuas, uh, I append the true class at chihuahua, and I append the print class, which is returned from this. So, and. So and form of it, so we can run one. So we can just uh, run this uh, classifier. Uh, and let's run for Java zero. And let's just return the class. So let's see what it does. All right, it is sure. So I also have the accuracy score from sklearn already imported. So we can check what the accuracy score is. Uh, and sure, it should be 100%. Oh no, it has made an error. Let's see where the error is. Uh, let's uh, import. It just makes uh, visualizing the both side by side a lot easier. Uh, what's the... All right, oh, sorry. Yeah. All right, so there is just one error. So it actually predicted everything correctly. The only error is that for one muffin, it said muffins. So this is zero, one, two, three, fourth image. So let's visualize this image that uh, probably it saw they are all right. So actually the vision API got it correctly because there are muffins in the image, not just muffins. So in reality, this classifier was 100% accurate and we just had to give it the correct prompt that it should always return the singular and not the plural. All right. So hopefully you have uh, now you know that for if you want to build a classifier for yourself you don't need extensive knowledge uh, and if it's a problem where you don't have to process a lot of images you can do a quick prototyping using gpt4 vision api remember each api costs per token and each image is going to cost you i think around half a cent or something so just be mindful of that so in case you have millions of images to process, probably a cheaper alternative would be for you to build your own uh, classifier. But if not, then I would say that uh, using GPT-4 Vision API uh, is the cheaper solution. 
uh, and the way to go if there are only a few images that you need to classify. Alright, thanks for watching and let me know what to build next. Bye-bye.